I can't see much, but uh, we're at Antietam State Park. We're at Rohrbach Campground. And uh, see our camp there. Our tent. I'm getting ready to boil some water for some coffee in the morning. Uh, it's going to be an early morning. It's about, I don't know, 60. Eight degrees is gonna get down in the low 50s tonight, but nothing, nothing extreme like uh, freezing or anything. But uh, hang around. We're gonna tour the battleground tomorrow and uh, hopefully see some uh, reenactors. And I got some uh, some different cameras with me this time, and hopefully get some cool footage. Are you sleep yet? No. Okay. How about now? No. How about now? Now? How about now? No. How about now? No. Now? No. no. our campsite back there and a little trail down here <coughs> and the trail takes you to Antietam Creek as we say down south Crick go take a look at the Crick it's getting overcast 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 <coughs> um, and they're they're predicting some rainfall today uh, had a few sprinkles already but nothing substantial but yeah can you imagine having to cross this creek being a either a confederate or a union soldier uh, water's flowing kind of slow see the ripples there Little eddies water raindrops yep. hard to imagine a place that's peaceful and to many kind of beautiful uh, the site of such a violent violent time in our in our uh, country's history There's that bird that woke me up this morning. All right, stick around for some more. So that's the plan. It'll be running. Okay, a little earlier they were running this binder. It will cut the wheat, bundles it up, and go into the thrasher. Smoke. Can you imagine how much scarier it would be if you have a 12-pound piece of iron flying hundreds of miles per hour at you? 
That's what every single one of these soldiers on this battlefield has to experience and has to put up with. So think about that as we're going around. Uh, we have the rain factor. Today it wasn't raining on the day of the battle, it rained the night before. About 8,000 soldiers become killed, wounded, or missing within about a 500 yard radius of where we are standing. now officially designated the driest spot on the battlefield. Um, of course, soldiers would not have had this one. It was built in 1896, so 34 years following the battle, uh, built by the United States War Department to give soldiers in the current United States Army then, and even today, a different perspective on uh, the Antietam battlefield. It's something that the soldiers here would not have seen. This is like an outdoor classroom for uh, soldiers here. Well, our tent got soaked, as you saw from the previous footage, so we're going to spend the night in the cab of the truck. Now, it's a good thing I always keep an old flannel shirt and a uh, nice wool blanket in the truck, just in case of an emergency, but uh, I would call this an emergency. So, I got my, oh, careful there. Oh, this thing's wet too. Yeah. So, we'll be sleeping in the back of the truck, but at least it's dry and warm. So, can you recline the seat anymore? Yeah. You gonna be comfortable enough? All right. All right, see you in the morning. Break camp. Okay. Home sweet home. 